Hi, so, so this is uh, my fourth video on uh, CPU uh, heat and uh, core temperature. So you'll see uh, this particular processor is the Intel Core i5-4200U. Um, I've done another one on um, the i5-2450M. So you, you'll notice here that the at rest temperature is around 40 degrees Celsius here. Uh, here's another reading. Uh, it's around 40 degrees Celsius. So this uh, particular processor is a two core with four threads. So you'll see here, uh, this is Windows 8. So uh, right now the CPU is not cranked up. So I'll go about doing that by running my Prime 95. So I'm going to run this torture test here. And I am going to do maximum heat, power consumption, and some RAM. So there you go, I'm kicking it off. And you'll probably hear the fan crank up. And let's see. So you see the CPU is already going up now to uh, basically around 90 degrees load really slowly. And the temperature is gonna start cranking up. Um, I noticed for this particular processor, um, it is restricted to around 61 degrees Celsius at its max. Uh, the i5-2450M actually cranked up to 80 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. And my AMD uh, also limits it to 61 degrees Celsius. Uh, the AMD I have is a 8-core, uh, whereas the other one is um, the i5-2450 is also a mobile processor here. So you'll see this has pretty decent heat control here. Now you'll hear the fan crank up. To 61 degrees here. And if you look at the CPU utilization, um, it is around 90. And it's pretty controlled. It doesn't seem like it lets it go above 100 so maybe that's just and this is a laptop that's plugged in so maybe that's just uh, something particular to the i5 uh, 4200 ultra portable so but there you go that's um let me all right let me just wait a couple of more seconds and it, it seems like this is as high as it goes so this is fairly decent control over the temperature, 61 degrees Celsius. Now if I stop all the tests, it'll immediately go back down. So I'm stopping all the tests. And you'll see it's uh, going back down now. So um, this particular processor doesn't get all that hot. And you'll see now it's going back down slowly. So, but there you go. That that's uh, a core temp review of this uh, i5 4200U processor. And uh, thank you for watching.